Hey people, Film Recaps here, and today we are going through a 1995 action comedy called Rumble in the Bronx. The movie starts with a police officer, Kyung, who has come from Hong Kong to the USA to attend the wedding of his uncle named Bill. Uncle Bill comes to pick him up from the airport and on the way, he tells Kyung that he lives in the Bronx where he also owns the Waha supermarket. Kyung learns that the Bronx is an area with a high level of crime. As the duo arrives at Uncle Bill's home, Kyung sees a lot of picture frames of his family on the wall. Uncle Bill tells him that he will take Kyung to the market to meet his fiance. Kyung finds the Wing Chun wooden dummy at Bill's home and starts practicing karate. Just then, Danny, a disabled Chinese-American boy who is Uncle Bill's neighbor, comes there to greet Kyung. After that, Uncle Bill and Kyung help Danny to get on the school bus. Before the bus leaves, Kyung gives Danny his old video game which makes him very happy. In the next scene, Uncle Bill takes Kyung to his supermarket where Kyung learns that it is being renovated as Uncle Bill is going to sell it soon. Kyung meets a Chinese woman inside the market and thinks that she is Uncle Bill's fiancé. But Bill comes there and tells him that the woman is not his fiancé but a saleslady named Tina Chong, who will also be helping in making arrangements for Uncle Bill's wedding. Then, Uncle Bill introduces his fiancé, Whitney, to Kyung who is a bit taken aback as Bill's fiancé is an obese woman. Whitney is delighted to meet Kyung and she tells him that she has heard a lot about him from Bill. Right after that, Bill meets a potential buyer, Elaine, who talks to him in his office which has a one-way mirror. Elaine is reluctant to buy the supermarket for Bill's price so he brings it down. While Kyung is helping in the supermarket, he comes across the one-way mirror and does amusing things without knowing that he is being watched by Elaine inside the office. While Elaine agrees to buy the market, she looks at Kyung who is standing on the other side of the mirror and finds him very funny. After some time, Kyung comes into the office to tell Bill about his friend Steven's arrival and is embarrassed to find that Elaine has watched him through the mirror. Bill meets Steven who has come to lend him his boss's car for his wedding. When Elaine is about to leave, Uncle Bill invites her to his wedding that will be tomorrow. Elaine seems happy and she accepts his invitation. At night, Kyung notices a local biker gang outside the apartment. He rushes outside to protect Steven's car as the bikers are about to destroy it during a race. The next scene opens at Bill and Whitney's wedding where Kyung sits next to Elaine and offers to help her with the supermarket's work as he is going to stay longer in the USA. Uncle Bill is happy to know Kyung's decision as he is about to leave with Whitney for their honeymoon. The next day, Uncle Bill visits Kyung with his wife and gives him some papers to get them signed by Elaine. In the next scene, while Kyung is helping out Elaine in the office, they notice some members of a local biker gang, who attempt to shoplift many goods from the market. At the counter, Elaine tries to talk to one of the gang members named Angelo and asks him to pay for the stuff he just shoplifted. When Angelo misbehaves with her, a Chinese member of the gang appears and throws some of the goods near the counter. Just then, Kyung comes there, he thwarts and beats up all of them, resulting in Angelo's busted nose. After that, Elaine and the other workers appreciate Kyung for confronting the local bikers. Elaine seems to have feelings for Kyung. Then, on his way back from the supermarket, Kyung with the contract file in his hands, notices some guys tempting a girl named Nancy. He follows and warns them but to his surprise, Nancy and the guys turn out to be the members of the local biker gang led by their head, Tony. They had actually lured him to that spot to take their revenge. Tony and his gang members corner Kyung into a dead-end spot where they damage him with glass bottles. When Angelo tries to shoot at him, one of the group members named Lisa attempts to stop him but gets slapped. Nancy gets angry, she attacks Angelo and leaves with Tony who goes after her. Next, we see that Nancy is Danny's elder sister. She finds him playing a video game and comes to know that it is gifted by their neighbor's nephew, Kyung. Unaware that Kung is the one she lured, Nancy goes out to dump the garbage, and she encounters the wounded Kyung. Hearing the groans, Danny also comes out and finds Kyung who then faints on the ground. The next morning, Kyung wakes up in his apartment where he finds Danny who tells him that his sister has treated and dressed his wounds but Kyung still doesn't know that Nancy is the one who lured him last night. He gets up and tells him that he has to go to the supermarket to inform Elaine that he lost the contract during the brawl with the gang. On his way, Kyung is followed by Tony and his gang members again. He tries to run away from them and reaches a parking lot, and then after some time, he escapes the gang, eventually. Right then, we are shown a gangster named White Tiger, who has a diamond deal with a couple of guys. Next, we see that the gang leader, Tony, is Nancy's boyfriend and he drops her at her apartment. Meanwhile, Kyung is seen approaching the apartment with Danny. Just then Angelo, who is near Nancy's apartment, notices a couple of cars crashing. He runs and grabs a briefcase from one of the dying guys in the car. White Tiger's gang members are after the diamonds and they follow Angelo. Kyung and Danny see them chasing so they hide in the apartment's hallway. Kyung picks up Danny and leaves the wheelchair in the hallway. Meanwhile, 
Angelo hides the diamonds in Danny's wheelchair cushion and tries to run away but is caught by White Tiger's gang members who pretend to be cops. While they ask Angelo for the diamonds, police officers appear and arrest them including some other syndicate members. Kyung carries Danny back to the apartment where Nancy hides from Kyung. Danny is surprised and happy to find that Nancy has bought him a new cushion for his wheelchair. Upon hearing that Danny feels embarrassed because of his disability, Nancy comes into the living room and apologizes to Danny and Kyung. Danny is surprised to know that Kyung and Nancy know each other already but Kyung doesn't let Nancy reveal anything to her brother about how they met each other. Then, Danny sits on the new wheelchair cushion and everyone unknowingly neglects the cushion that has diamonds in it. The police investigate Angelo and the members of White Tiger's gang but they do not reveal anything. So, they get released because of the lack of evidence. At night, Angelo shows up near the apartment to find the cushion that has diamonds but doesn't go inside as the members of White Tiger's gang are also looking for those diamonds in the apartment's hallway. They also interrogate Kyung by introducing themselves as the FBI but Kyung pretends to be unaware of the incident that had happened that day. The next scene opens at a bar where Kyung has come to meet Nancy who dances there to make money. When one of Tony's gang members sees Kyung with Nancy, he informs Tony and the gang goes after him. But the duo escapes on Nancy's bike. Later that night Nancy gets closer to Kyung, initiating their relationship. The next day, Tony and his gang members rob and damage the supermarket, assuming that it belongs to Kyung. Just then, members of White Tiger's gang appear and they pick a couple of Tony's gang members. Meanwhile, Angelo attempts to grab Danny's wheelchair cushion but doesn't find anything and runs away. White Tiger's men beat up Tony's men, forcing them to tell them about Angelo who has disappeared and hasn't informed anything to the other members of Tony's gang. One of the members, Lance, is finished off by White Tiger's men. Kyung arrives at the damaged supermarket and finds Elaine who regrets buying that market, realizing how often the market is a victim of theft and protection racket. Enraged, Kyung goes to Nancy and she takes him to Tony who fights with Kyung. Tony loses the fight and gives up, asking Kyung to leave his place. Just then, one of the gang's members who had been held captive by White Tiger's men shows up with Lance's body. He tells Tony that White Tiger's men are looking for Angelo. Kyung decides to involve the FBI who are actually White Tiger's men. Tony finds Angelo who recognizes that the men are not FBI but the members of White Tiger's gang. He reveals that he had hidden the diamonds in Danny's wheelchair cushion. When the men arrive with Kyung at Danny's apartment, they do not find the diamonds in the wheelchair cushion and get frustrated at Kyung and beat him up. Danny takes one of the men into Nancy's room, thinking that her artificial necklace is made of diamonds. Meanwhile, Kyung manages to attack the other man and eventually captures both of them. When White Tiger calls one of the gangsters, Kyung receives the call and tells him that he wants him to release his friends if White Tiger wants to have his diamonds back. Meanwhile, Tony reveals to White Tiger's gang members that Kyung is the owner of the Waha supermarket. In the next scene, Kyung shows up at the market and tells Elaine about the diamonds. Just then, White Tiger's men arrive there and destroy the supermarket with a tow truck. White Tiger then informs Kyung of the place where he can return the diamonds and get his friends back. Kyung calls the police for help. They give Kyung recording equipment and instruct him to show just one diamond to the gangsters, and try to get the gang to talk about the incident they caused after robbing the diamonds. Kyung meets the gangsters but during their meeting, he reveals that he knows that their leader's name is White Tiger. Then, one of the gangsters named Jordan, calls White Tiger who asks him to find out if Kyung is working with the police. They take Kyung to a scheduled place and find that he is involved with the police. White Tiger commands them to finish him off but Kyung somehow overpowers them and escapes. Later, the police come and chase the gangsters away. White Tiger's men commandeer a hovercraft into the river while Kyung and the police are after them. The hovercraft ends up running through the streets and causes damage to property and cars on the road. The hovercraft seems unstoppable and eventually, Kyung ends the chase by stealing a large sword from a museum, clamping it on a Lamborghini Countach. He then drives it to the hovercraft, shredding its rubber skirt and crashing it. After that, he gets into the hovercraft and forces the gangsters to reveal White Tiger's location. Nancy, Tony, and his gang members are released and they arrive there. Kyung takes everyone including Elaine in the repaired hovercraft to a golf course where White Tiger is playing. He runs over White Tiger and his men, leaving the leader wounded on the ground. In the final scene, Kyung, Nancy, Tony, and Elaine are very happy to defeat White Tiger with his gang members and the movie ends here. Thanks for watching guys.